guys, it's Giselle. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. We are doing an empties video today. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, so I have a lot of things to go through. We're gonna try to do this in a speedy way because I tend to ramble on and I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. So if you're new here, welcome. I do lots of beauty videos, hauls, decorate with me, um, a little bit of everything. If that's something that you're into, I hope you will consider subscribing and becoming a part of my subscriber family. I do my empties in categories, but I do them all in one video. So we're going through household items, makeup, skincare, food, like snacks, that sort of thing, which if you guys have been on my channel for quite some time, you know that I absolutely love snacks and coffee creamers. So if you want to see me go through my trash today, stay tuned. We're going to start off with cosmetics and I have here the Milk Hydro Grip primer. This came in one of those Sephora favorite boxes. And I got to be honest with you, I know this is like a favorite amongst many, many people. I, I don't like this at all. I feel like you have to be very particular with what kind of foundation you're going to use this with. I felt like this did not work with many foundations. It felt cakey. It felt like it was pilling in certain areas. Just, it did not make my skin look good at all. I feel like if you tend to have some areas of dry spots, this just doesn't work. So I will not be purchasing that again. Next up, we have a Clinique Even Better Makeup Foundation. And this is in the shade WN04 Bone. I really, really like this foundation. I felt like it worked well with my skin type. I tend to have oily skin throughout certain parts of the year, especially in the warmer months. And in the winter months, I get very dry in certain areas. This, I did use summer and winter months and it worked out well. I would definitely repurchase this again. I feel like I say this all the time, Clinique is just like one of those really classic makeup brands that you can't go wrong if you're using their stuff. Next up, we have some mascaras. This is from Benefit. It's the Their Real Magnet Mascara. And if you guys know me, I like to buy my trial sizes first before I make the purchase of a full size. I did like this one, even though the brush is not something that is my type of brush. I really don't like these rubberized brushes. I like the big, thicker, like fluffier brushes, but guys, I would definitely repurchase this again. I felt like this made my lashes look really long and this worked great on the bottom lash. I felt like I would use this just on my bottom lash because it was so easy to apply. You know, sometimes when the brushes are big and you're doing your bottom lash and you're like, oh, you hit the corner of your eye or you get like some mascara underneath the eye. This was like perfectly like precision way of applying mascara to the lower lash. I would definitely repurchase that again. The other mascara that I have here is from Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Mascara. And this I got in the Sephora like birthday, um, the birthday gift that they have this year. I picked the Milk one. This is the one, I'm actually wearing this today. This is the brush. This tends to be the kind of brush that I like. I do like how this makes my lashes look. They make them look very long. And I do apply several coats of this and I feel like it doesn't get thick and clumpy. I would definitely purchase a full size of this Milk Mascara though. Next up, we have the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Again, another like favorite amongst everybody. This is one of those where I purchased this and I liked using it for a little bit and then something happened and I started like breaking up and getting a lot of texture every time I use this. 
and I had to stop using it. I was like, I can't use this anymore. It's gotta be the ingredients that are in the powder. I was so disappointed because I really did love how this worked. So I kind of put it away, forgot about it. And then I changed foundations, was changing it up a little bit. I took this out and started using it and absolutely fell in love with it. I didn't have the problem where I was getting these little bumps or, you know, the little, the little like raised bumps that you, that I was getting when I was using this and I wasn't getting texture from this. So I think it was a combination of the foundation that I was using back when I first started using this and this, it just didn't work well together. So now that I'm using other foundations, this has been working well. I will definitely be repurchasing another one of these again. We have here an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. And I really, really like this pencil. This came in one of those Sephora favorites boxes again. This color was a little too warm for me, but I did repurchase this again in a dark brown color. I love this Brow Wiz pencil. It's got like a very thin pencil top to it, which is what I love. I don't like it when it's got like that angle, like a little triangle look at the end. I don't like that. I need to have control of where I'm placing my little hair strokes. So I like it. The smaller the pencil tip, the better. And on the other end is a spoolie. I absolutely love this spoolie. This spoolie is great. I would just keep I would just keep this pencil just to use the spoolie, but I already have another one of these. So if you're particular about the spoolies that you use, you would definitely like this. I have here a Real Techniques Instant Brush Cleaner. I got this from Ulta when it first came out. I did like it. I don't think I would repurchase this again, though. I tend to like some other ones better than this. I mean, this was decent, but it wasn't I didn't feel like it it cleaned the brushes any better than a lot of the other ones I'm using. So I don't think I would repurchase that again. I have simple cleansing wipes for kind to skin removes waterproof mascara. I felt like the wipes in here were pretty saturated with the formula, the solution. So it did work well. I would definitely repurchase these again. And I like the fact that the Simple brand is very good for sensitive skin. So if you tend to get irritated with a lot of things, thumbs up for the Simple brand. This is another Simple brand, age resisting cleansing wipes for sensitive skin. This one uh, gently cleanses and removes makeup with green tea, mushroom, and a probiotic. I would purchase this again. I think I got these like on sale at TJ Maxx. That's where I get a lot of these like makeup wipes instead of like paying the drugstore price. Next up, we have a hand soap. This is from Dove. Um, it, it's a new one. It's probably not that new anymore. Deep Cleansing Hand Wash. It's a Pampering Care Shea Butter and Warm Vanilla. Now, I bought this because I like the foaming one that came in. I think it's like Sugar Cane Vanilla, Warm Vanilla. And I'm usually not a big vanilla fan at all. I really liked that other one. It just smelled very nice. It was like a light, sweet vanilla scent. This one, it was okay, but not... It doesn't compare to the other one. Like this was just, eh. If I'm gonna repurchase the Dove one, definitely repurchasing the foaming hand wash instead of this one. This is more of just like a creamy soap. We have a Listerine mouthwash. This is a limited edition aloe and cucumber flavor. Now, if you guys watched my last empties video, I think I had, I think I had like a grapefruit and rose one and the last one before that it was a coconut and lime one. I absolutely love the coconut and lime one. I repurchased that several times. This one, aloe and cucumber, hmm, it wasn't anything that was great. I mean the taste wasn't like super pleasant. I would have thought that it was because I do like cucumber but it was just like mm, it was okay. Like I wouldn't repurchase that one. I have another mouthwash. This is Oral-B Breath Therapy Special Care Oral Rinse. And this is a mild mint. I gotta be honest with you and say this tasted nothing like a mouthwash. Even though it was a mint flavor, it did not feel like I had used mouthwash. It felt kind of like metallic-y. Like it felt like my mouth tasted metallic-y after I used this. 
it was just not something that I particularly like to taste. So I would not repurchase that. Next up, we have a soap, a dish soap. I have to say this is probably the best dish soap I've ever used in terms of scent. It was so pleasant. So this is the Gain Bleach Alternative Honey Berry Hula Scent. And this is the value size one. I just went and repurchased like the fam, was it like the family size one? It's like the one that has the handle. It's like the big jug of these. This scent is so pleasant. It smells amazing. It smells so fresh, so summery. It smells like candy, like just very pleasant smell while you're washing the dishes. And I'm so bummed that Gain doesn't have this scent in laundry detergent. Like why Gain, why? Why don't you have this scent in laundry detergent? I would buy it. If you've never tried this scent, I'm telling you it's so good. You should check it out. Okay, I have another soap, dish soap product to show you. This is the Dawn Platinum Foam Rapid Fresh Rapid Scent Dishwashing Foam. So this is the foam applicator. I buy this just for just for the 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 bottle. And what I do is once I use up the rest of this Dawn soap, this is where you can save yourself some money, people. So once I finish using this up, I take another dish soap with a nice scent like this one. I fill it up and I fill it up about this much and then I fill the rest of it up with water. I shake it and then you have another foaming hand soap. So it's a nice way to reuse these bottles. Next up, we're gonna be doing hair, hair products. First hair product is from Rusk. It is the Wired Flexible Styling Cream. Now I purchased this because I read that this is what that woman from that country band, what's that country band? She's got blonde, short, curly hair, super always volumized, really pretty. Is it like little big country or little big? I, I don't know, something like that. I don't know, I, I'm gonna have to research it and then when I edit the video, I'll insert the name. This is one of the products that she uses and she swears by it, so I bought it. I will tell you this, not a fan of this. First of all, it smells like men's cologne. I don't know about you, but I don't want my hair to smell like men's cologne. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this again. It's a very, um, like a thick consistency, kind of drying, so if you're putting this on your damp hair, it's kind of difficult to work through the hair. And I also feel that it left behind like this thick residue, like the next day, it just felt very thick, lots of residue. So not a fan of that. Next up is a product from Amika. It's the Hot Mess, Hot Mess Texture Gloss. I got this from, I think TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This, this is a definite repurchase. This smells amazing. It's just got a very light fragrance scent to it that's very pleasant. And I did like how this made my hair look. I felt like I did, I could work it like very easily into my hair. It was rather slippery. And I did like how my curls looked once they dried with this product in it. So I would definitely repurchase this again. The next thing we have is a, uh, I guess like a trial size of the Brigio Scalp Revival. This is a charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. This came in one of those like Sephora favorites boxes. I think that maybe my hair type doesn't work well with these sorts of things. You know, I'm very particular about my shampoo and my conditioner. Maybe uh, other hair types or straight hair, wavy hair, maybe this would work bad, better on those types of hair. I felt like this really didn't do much for me and I didn't like how it made my hair feel, so I wouldn't repurchase that. Last up on the hair products is from uh, Professional Sebastian. It's the Twisted Curl Magnifier Styling Cream. And this is this has got a, re a really light scent to it. I feel like it reminds me of like going to a spa, like how, 
how a spa smells. I did like how it made my curls look. We are into like food and snacks portion of the video. And we're gonna do coffee creamers because we do coffee creamers in all of my empties videos. And I have a lot of coffee creamers to go through, okay? And I have some strong opinions about my coffee creamers. You guys know that if you watch my channel, I have very strong opinions about my coffee. Okay, first up, we have International Delight Vanilla Cannoli Cream Latte. Now, International, De International Delight is not my favorite brand of coffee creamers. I feel like a lot of times there's like a lot of aftertaste, but I have to say, this is hands down my favorite international coffee creamer I've ever tried. This had such an amazing flavor. If you like cannoli and you like that, that flavor, you would absolutely like this. I would highly recommend that. Next one we have from International Delight is the Fruity Pebbles. Now, this thing has been sitting in my fridge for so long months and months and months this is not new and i finally had to empty it out like put it down the drain because it was disgusting absolutely disgusting this i felt just because you like fruity pebbles doesn't mean you are gonna like fruity pebbles flavored coffee i felt like the lime flavor in the fruity pebbles overpowered everything so to me it tasted like you know when you brush your teeth, you finish brushing your teeth and you instantly have like a coffee or orange juice after and you get that bitter taste in your mouth? You know, you know what I'm talking about. This, this tastes just like that. This makes your coffee taste like that to me. And I know that there are people out there that like this flavor. I don't know how you do it, but I don't like lime or lemon flavor in my coffee. I don't like that flavor in general. So I, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. Ugh, no, not for me. <laughs> Next up, we have a Planet Oat. This is an oat milk creamer. I was gonna say creamer. <laughs> this is an oat milk creamer in a caramel scent. And I would have to say for one of the like healthier alternatives to coffee creamer, this one is one of my favorites. I don't tend to usually like gravitate towards the healthier coffee creamers because they're very watered down. This is not as creamy as your average coffee creamers, but in terms of healthy ones, this is probably one of the better ones I've tried and I would use it again. Okay, next up, we have two from one of my new favorite brands because this is the first time that I've tried coffee creamer from them. It is the Chobani coffee creamers. Now, if you've never tried the Chobani coffee creamers, you don't know what you're missing. Just like I didn't know what I was missing. This by far was my favorite coffee creamer that I've had in the last few weeks, months. This was just so thick and creamy. It was so amazing. And the pumpkin spice flavor wasn't like over the top. So you didn't have to use a lot. I mean, you know, if you like a lot of coffee cream in your coffee, go for it. But you didn't have to use a lot of this to get it to be very creamy. So this was so amazing. This is a definite repurchase for me. Also another Chobani flavor that I tried that surprisingly was very amazing this is the cookies and cream guys this was like having a dessert with your coffee it was so good and again it was so creamy so if you don't like to use a lot of coffee creamer in your coffee like this a little goes a long way i tend to pour a lot in there but still this was so good these two are like quickly became two of my favorites. I would highly recommend that brand. We have a bag of Lay's potato chip. This is the limited flavor of Funyuns. Funyuns onion flavored wavy Lay's chips. Now I will say this, it definitely tasted like a Funyun, so I'll give it that. And it was pleasant. But the thing is, for me, it just fell a little short because I think the whole reason why a lot of people like eating Funyuns is the whole texture of a Funyun, right? Like, 
the texture of it, the shape, like it's like a little onion, a little onion ring. So I think for me, like, okay, so it tastes like a Funyun, but so doesn't Lay's like sour cream and onion, right? It has like an onion flavor to that one as well. So I just felt like, yeah, it tastes like Funyuns, but the whole purpose of eating a Funyun is because you like the texture. But maybe you don't like the texture of an onion, but you just like the flavor of it, then I guess this could be something that you might like. So um, I would eat it again. Like, you know, it wouldn't be my first choice of repurchase, but it was decent. Next up, we have something that is amazing. And this is the Friendly's Limited Edition S'mores Ice Cream. Now, I'm going to read you what is in this particular ice cream. It is toasted marshmallow flavored ice cream with dark chocolate flavored flakes and a graham cracker swirl. For me, this toasted marshmallow flavored ice cream was unlike anything I've ever tried before. It was so tasty. I feel like if you like s'mores, if you're an ice cream lover like me, this is definitely one that you're gonna wanna try if it's still available. If you like ice cream and this is available, definitely check it out. Last up, we have a, a bag of peanuts. I know, so like boring, right? Like bag of peanuts, Giselle, why are you showing us a bag of peanuts? Because these are not like your regular traditional peanuts. These are Sabrita's Japanese style peanuts. And I actually had to purchase these from Amazon because no local stores sell these around here. This is a peanut that has a has like a hard shell coating to it almost. I think the dollar store sells a certain kind of Japanese peanut. I will tell you this, the dollar store Japanese peanut, if it's not this brand, I've tried it. They're not good. They're not as good as these. I saw this on a video from Sassy Snacks way back in the day, rest in peace girl. She made a, what is it called? Locos, Locos nachos, Locos tacos, nachos. I don't know, she made this like nacho dish and a part of that dish was putting this into the nachos. And she was like talking about this and eating it. And she was just amazed at the flavor. And I was like, oh, I really want to try that. That looks so good. So I finally ordered a package from Amazon. And I was like, dang, that girl was right. This is so good. So I would definitely check it out if you like peanuts. If you liked this video, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it. Also, let me know in the comments section if you've tried any of these products. Like, if you tried any of those snacks that I showed you, uh, let me know your thoughts. Also, if you're not already subscribed, you like these types of videos, I hope that you will consider subscribing and becoming a part of my subscriber family. I have other empties videos. I will link the playlist up here for you in case you want to check that out. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.